Hello, my name is William James. This is a kind of emergency video that I feel like we need to talk about this. A school board in Tennessee voted to have Mouse banned. Mouse is first based on a first-hand account of concentration camps and the Holocaust and many other things. It also is easy to understand, very digestible, and it's probably one of the greatest graphic novels ever written. And it's been banned. What's the old saying? Erase history, you're doomed to repeat it. And the part of the reason, this is my honest opinion, is that we live in an age where censorship is very much on trend. <laughs> you know, the good guys seem to be the... people think the good guys are the ones banning books. They're not. They're really not. <laughs> censorship is never a good thing. I'm very anti. I also... I'm going to put this one into the mix. That The reason they banned it, and this is my opinion, is they wanted to talk about... Better, not have discussions of fascism. Fascism is also alive and well currently in the world. And controversial opinion, but anti-Semitism is very much alive and well in the world. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg is deluded and needs to shut up. That's my opinion. Just putting that one out there, and I know I'm going to get crap for that, but delusional, out-of-touch celebrities... <laughs> if it was anyone else said that, my God. Um, but she'll get away with it. But anyway, book banning is something that is abhorrent. It is disgusting. It is not the thing the good guys should be doing, and it's not the thing that anyone should be doing. This book is powerful. It's dark. It, it tells you what happened. Like I said, it makes it digestible. The Nazis are cats, Americans are dogs, the Jews are the mice. And banning this... <laughs> we, we are doomed to repeat history at this point, and I have very little hope for the future. On the other side of it, it's just proving the point that history is repeating itself. Once we start censoring stuff, once censorship starts, that's a problem. And this is prime example of it. This book has topped the bestseller list. Thank God, just to prove a point. It is harrowing and brilliant. And I would put this, if you want to learn some good history and what happened, read this book. It's easy to get, you can get it digitally, you can get it physically. But the banning of books is utterly ridiculous, because you cannot look at what happened in history through the eye of 2022, the sort of weird culture war that we're in. The idea of race at this point in history is very different to what it was 100 years ago, 50 years ago even. It constantly changes, and you cannot look at this stuff through modern eyes. You have to think, what was it about? Yet, we are still living this. And like I said at the start of the video, this has proven anti-Semitism is still alive and well in the modern world, and that's disgusting, to say the least, on the subject. And just... It's frustrating. And yes, this video is coming from a very emotive place and is a bit of a rant. It's frustrating because no one wants to talk about it. It's very fashionable to hate on a certain group of people right now, and I think this is not only an element of anti-Semitism, it is an element of people not wanting their kids to learn maybe what's going on now. Go out there, buy this book, read this book. It's important, and it's brilliant, and you will not be disappointed. This is one of the best graphic novels ever written, and it remains poignant and powerful even now. I was going to do a long-winded review of this book, and I decided against it for a very simple reason. I cannot review it. And I know that sounds weird, but there is no way I can review this book, because I cannot have a subjective opinion in that sense. I know my opinion on this book. Go out there and read it. 
But remember, the good guys aren't, should not be the ones telling you what you can and can't read. The good guys and are the ones that give you your freedom to choose what you want to read. And we live in an age where those lines are so blurred. But yeah. It's a bit of a rant. I know some people are going to have some things to say about this. But banning books is not the answer. Learning from history is.